Everybody, welcome to the internet. I'll be your host. Silence. Except for you. Yeah, you know who you are. You know what you did. You know what you did. Don't act like you did. Just, just own it. Just own your mistake. What are we taking? Jason Mind Sculptor. Nope. Splinter Twin. All right. Thief of Sanity. No, Splinter Twin. It is Splinter Twin. But I like seeing Thief in here because Thief's a powerful card. Thief of Splinter Twin. My child was a Splinter Twin once. No, it wasn't. Shut up, man. You don't know about my children? My right. Splinter children? You're right. I don't know anything about your Splinter children. You don't know about my Splinter children? Hey, man, should I get another dog? Should I get a Golden Retriever? I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> He would literally just stay any dog, though, and I'd be like, yeah. That's true. Okay, nothing good here. Uh, What about Crater Behemoth? That goes well with our Splinter Twin? It doesn't, but it is very, very strong. We could also uh, Splinter Twin. We could take a Plateau. We could. Because Restoration Angel and... Yeah, I can see that. It depends on if you want to go Crater Hooth or Splinter Twin. Because now's, <laughs> now's the time to decide. You try and take my dog and you're getting some skinny guy. Chris, I wouldn't take someone else's dog. I You you think me, of all people, wouldn't have respect for dog ownerships? Come on. Totally, totally respectful of other dog owners. What did you say? I wasn't listening to you because I blacked out. You gotta out. decide. Crater Hooth or Splinter Twin? Now's the time. It's got to be Cuff. Just in case. Yeah, because we could just be green instead of all these. Like, now I just want to take, like, Nissa or Rattleclaw Mystic. We could also be red green and just. We can go Crater Hoof and then Splinter Twin on the Crater Hoof. I already said that. I don't know what you care more about dog ownership or owning more dogs. That's fair, because I don't know which I care more about either, actually. So. I'm going to take the Rattleclaw. Actually, the Nissa. Take the Nissa. You don't like the Bloodbraid Elf? Kinda. This is just a ramp spell. Not really. Always. <laughs> you know, what? do whatever you want. I don't even care. Always. I don't know. I'm here. I'm out of here. It's my Severus Snape. Always. Is that a line from the movie? Always. Have you not seen the Harry Potter movies? I have, but I don't remember him saying always. Are you kidding me? I feel like a meme. No, we're gonna get demonetized, but then don't do it. All right, then I'm not gonna do it. We took the blood braid elf. A blood braid elf. Oh snap! Now you gotta decide again. No, this is very compelling. This is very compelling. Didn't compel it into your deck. Why aren't there signets in this cube? That feels bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think this is going to wheel. I don't think there's going to be four cards left in this pack. Oh, Sulphur Falls. Easy. Easy game, easy life. Uh, I like a Seagate Oracle. I also just like Big Dragons dot deck. Yeah, let's take the dragon. Deal. Oh, Jace Bellerin? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, too. All right, we're looking good. Uh, and now you just suck. You were you were terrible, and I don't know why you're in this cube. I don't know why you're in any cube. I like City of Brass here. God. I can't believe they gave him a reprint too. I can't think. I can't believe they gave him anything. He doesn't deserve anything. You deserve nothing. Oh, Glorybringer! Wow, I was hoping that Glorybringer would come back. Actually, Arctic's looking sweet. And we're just model red. Uh, no, we have Niv Mizzet. But other than that, we have Jace. Other than that. We have a new visit. Other than those two. Don't need more.
my god. You like that you like that jam I just did? What are you doing, man? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing, man. Oh, crying out loud. Uh, I've been watching a lot of other MTG streams on YouTube lately, and I have to say I love that you have an intro and outro for five videos, and I feel like I'm dropping in the middle of something and not knowing what's going on. That's good to hear. I appreciate that. Hey, look, you can finally take the Immortal Sons. I don't feel like brokers. we do. We do actually have a plane as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails. But it's only one. I still feel like it's probably the pick here. I don't think we're taking like a Hazard. If there was an Urborg for each color, which would be the best? That's a good question. I don't the island one? The island one? Because island ones of everything are the best. Just like Mikey Thick Boys. I need to go to the little apple store to get me apples. To get me apples. You know, it's funny because people don't know I just looked up Apple Store to see where the closest Apple Store was. So you saying that randomly just makes no sense. Just out of nowhere, you said, I need to go to the Apple Store to get me apples. And that just makes no sense. I like Remove Soul here. You could just wait till we go to Tech Day Brazil and then we could stop by the Apple Store. That's true, it is close. Is it Exclusion Mage, or is it Remove Soul, or is it Stomper Gromp McGromper? Definitely not Stomper Gromper. I mean, we can play Bloodbraid Elf if we have Stomper McGromper. Man, you always want to play Bloodbraid Elf. I always want to play more of my cool cards that I have. Yeah, I want to take the Stomper McGromper. <sighs> can we get any of these stupid pieces? God! Oh, Flame Tongue Cab. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like Impulse, too. And Incinerate. Rootbound Craggles. Craggle Rock. There's also a Canal. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Craggles and Canal? That's the name of my law firm. Craggles and Canal. Weird. Yeah, I do like Spire Buff Canal a little better. Why is that weird? That's the name of my of my law firm. Why is that weird? Because no one there has those names. You don't even know who works there. I know everyone who works there. I'm a corporate spy. At Craggles and Canal? Yeah. This is weird. We need to really up Anna, your And your other Laporte dentistry, okay? No, please, no. <laughs> just, let, just, just let the hands do their do their thing. I like a preordain here. Also like a taiga for the same reason I like stomping ground. We need playables, man. Dude, this is only a second pack. Yeah, and we have like six cards. Seven, eight, nine cards. I think it's preordained, right? Yes. Uh, Search for Ascanta? I like Search for Ascanta. I love Search for Ascanta. Don't like you, though. Nope, don't like you. I like Into the Royal. Well, too bad we didn't take that. Too bad you suck. <laughs> the end. Explosion Expansion. That never happens. It never does happen. Pyroclasm could be good. Sure. Deep Analysis is fine. This guy's also fine. Deep Analrapist. <laughs> is this Pyroclasm here? Probably. It's a pretty good sideboard. Oh, big chicken. We got that big chicken. Easy, easy pick. Easy chicken. Oh, I like a thirst for knowledge. Yeah, we can discard our mortal sons. I was just literally thinking that. I'm like, 
Now we can discard this when we draw our one Planeswalker of a game. Big Is It was my nickname in high school. Wow, that's really weird. Of course, I like to say Biz It. No one, no one, you don't know. No one, no one, you don't know. I like Lumbering Falls here. I like that we're leaving ourselves open to uh, play more green cards if we get them. Like this triple green Woodfall Primus. Which I'll probably just take anyway because I have no restraint. I don't really just play red green. Rootbound Craggles. Craggle Rock. Because we have three, four blue dual lands, so we have no reason to do so. But I'm going to play Teamer. That's what we're doing. You stupid dummy. Give me that Taiga back. I hope that Taiga comes back. They are just handing us Teamer. You're right. And we got this Sakura Tri Builder now. I'd play the other 2-2. Two -two. We have another 2-2? Two -two? No. I meant three. <laughs> I know what you meant. I was making fun of your syntax, you stupid dummy. I was making fun of your syntax. Oh, I use very smart word syntax. Oh. I hope you know this is why they left you at the orphanage. But they didn't. <laughs> yeah, but they did. No, they didn't. Joke's on you. You're still there now. Just take Rhythm. I was thinking that. I feel like Rhythm is correct. And if Kodama's Reach or Wandering Freeman will come back, I'd be pretty cool with that. Yeah, Rhythm seems pretty busted. Please don't say Fraggle Rock without clapping twice afterward. Thank you. <laughs> Down at Fraggle Rock. Did you do that? What? Did you say Fraggle Rock and not clap afterwards? I didn't say Fraggle Rock. Did I? Well, I certainly didn't. I don't think I did. Who said it? Who knows? Oh, God. Oh, God. I seriously can't believe we didn't get one Deceiver Exarch or Zealous Conscript or Pestermite yet. I like a big Moles, though. Yeah. I also hope this Hinterland Harbor comes back. Or the search for tomorrow. Search for Azcon tomorrow? Yeah. Search for Azcon oh, tomorrow. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh, look how beautiful it is. I also feel like I never see fetch lands. At least they're not on color ones. Oh, Ooze is cool. I think I'd rather have a. Uh... Oh, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Oh, oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Oh, oh, I agree. It's magic. Never believe it on so. Boy, that was painful. <laughs> 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 oh, it's magic. Oh, you know. I like a looter. I also like Young Peasy, but I don't think we're a Young Peasy dick. You got preordained? Oh, yeah, that's right. I guess we are a young P. These are literally our only two spells that are trigger it. I think it's just Murphy Clear. Yeah, here. probably. Lotus is pretty good, too, though. Wow, like, we're literally not going to hit for our, for our Splinter Twin. That's hilarious. Might as well take the Hunt, Hunt Master, then. You like that over Skargan Hellkite? Another Dragon Boy? Just get in there. Beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, boy. With the dragon, right? Yeah. That's right. Splinter Twin Glorybringer is actually pretty sweet because you can exert it every single turn. Oh, I like a Xenagos. And this is also pretty good. Yeah, I like Nissa more. Do we like Kira, though? Yeah. Because all of our creatures like Hexproof. Also, if we don't take Xenagos, we it actually makes our Immortal Sun a lot better. Yeah, I think it's just Nyssa. Oh. Mass Manips again. Oh, Mogbo. 
We're not taking out 10 mana Ulamog. All right, take Tamiya then. I don't want Tamiya because of my immortal son. Is Vanifar good here? Sack no. Looter into like Warboss, Sack Horos into Phoenix, Sack Phoenix. And actually, could be decent here. Mm, I don't gonna, think so. We're going to give it a go, my dude. Kadama's Reach came back. That's pretty cool. I think we have a pile, ladies and gentlemen. I actually think this deck looks sweet. Oh, the Hinterland Harby came back! Hinterland Harbies! Mm, yes, that's where I get my beef and cheddars. <laughs> my beef and cheddars. Yeah. Smitch! Don't call me a smitch. I'll call you whatever the hell I want to. Probably shouldn't use you. Put in the crater roof. No. Oh no. Oh, Domri came back? That's fascinating. No. I'm telling you, man, who who for won us the game? Oh wow the, oh wow. Wow. What? Oh my god. Can we just be red green? It's looking likely. The problem is, like, look at our lands. Like, we have no reason to cut blue. We have seven lands that just automatically fix for blue. We have no reason not to play a Muldrifter. Niv Mizzet might be ambitious, right? We can actually cut a Mortal Sun and just play the, like, the two Planeswalkers we just got on the wheel. Cut these guys. Thirst, Jace, Preordain. Just play Muldrifter and Vanifar. Play the Wood Folly. There's about eight drops, though. Like, we have no real ramp. We just have Kodama's Reach and, like, Sakura Tribal. We're not, like, ramping. Eh, it's still not bad. Oh, we probably don't want to play Splinter Twin. Doesn't seem that great anymore. Why Why was it great before? It wasn't, because we never got a target. You don't want to put on, like, a Woodfall Primus or, like, a Glorybringer or, like, a Mul... A mole drifter? Not really. I'd rather just play like sword. And maybe even those booties. No, we have enough stuff to give haste. We also have rhythm, yeah. But I do like the sword. I can see. Why do you like sword? Because it's good sometimes. It's a relevant interaction. Pro black is pretty good. We got so many duders to carry said sword. Carry on my wayward sword. I guess we could play pod. It's not impossible. We the problem is we don't have any six or seven drops, so like these guys just get to hang out at the top. Oh yeah. What if we fair. actually played pod and like we got rid of like like, we could sack a Muldrifter to get a Niv-Mizzet. I kind of don't hate that, to be honest with you. And we can cut, like, one more thing. Probably Wall Blossoms. Now, Wall Blossoms is great as a two-drop that you can just sacrifice to Vanifar or Pod. I would probably just cut Preordain for Podding. And now we're just going to play all these lands. And then we can just probably card Hogcast and Mizzet even. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight green sources. Probably going up to nine or ten. Uh, red sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. We can go down to seven. And that's actually pretty good. This is like ten, nine, seven. I'm game. 
And we have no bad hits off of Bloodbird Elf, which is nice. All of these are fine. Pod can go here. Metamorph can go here. So our curve is actually not terrible. I really just we had some kind of seven drop, but oh well. Let's uh, let's split it up, group creatures separately, and then we can take a screeny boy. Uh, let's actually cancel that. Let's move you up a little bit. So now we know what to get. All right, now we got Pod and Vanifar, and we have uh, Rhythm so that Vanifar can come into play with a with a haste. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Mike. Michael, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Michael. Remember that, Jam? No, Good I have time. no idea. You never sang that before. Yes, yes, I have. I sing it to you every night from outside your door when you're going to bed. Hmm, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, now you know. I'm going to keep this hand because I believe in it. I believe in Harvey Dent. But do you believe in Darvey Hent? I don't know who that is. Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly. What's wrong with you? How do you exist in this in this world? <laughs> every year, you get one year older. I'm just so impressed that you've made it so far. That's every day, bro. You're right. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I'm pretty sure a 5-5 dragon that draws you a card and deals a damage every single time your opponent casts, a, casts their own spells is still pretty good. I don't think Niv suddenly becomes less good because... Well, it doesn't become not good because you can't exploit every single aspect of the card. And I think that's actually a pretty big flaw in thinking. Like, if I can't use every single aspect of this magic card that is overly powered to begin with, it's just not good. It's just kind of a silly... Oh, they have one, two, three, four, five. They have six mana. Mike, what sound does Little Man make when he's thinking real hard? Mao? <laughs> That's true. That's true. They're going to just play Primeval Titan here. Or Vraska. Or Primeval Vraska. Oh, and Primeval Timmy. Or Primeval Timmy Timmy 2P2. 2P2. Shut the hell up. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to beat that. We don't. I said it wasn't that. Oh, I thought you said it wasn't good. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Come on. Come on. Planeswalkers are broken, man. Okay, this is actually good because now we can kill it with our Skarg and Hellkite. Are you ready for the Hellkite? Come on. Come on, do it. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, our mana is excellent. Oh, boy. Okay, what are they? They put all what? Oh, God. Are we just literally dead to that next turn? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, we 13, go to four. 14, 15, 16. Yeah, we go to four. This is really something, man. Yep. 
poof, there it is, as they say. Maybe they don't have eight mana. <laughs> JK, they always have eight mana. They literally have exactly, no, they have nine. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh no, we gained life though, so now I guess we go to eight. That's pretty cool. What can we draw here that gets us out of this? I don't know. Oh, they didn't attack with their Beastie Boy. This is nice. That's weird. Why would they not do well, that? Well, they want to protect their Rajani, I guess. But we only have a 2-2 on board. Michael, what do you want from me? Stop making those stupid noises. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? God, I was so aggressive. Stop making those stupid noises. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Do I just look at these and just assume this guy's going to die anyway? Or do I just... He goes to six. I mean, you can just easily exile this guy. And then I have one blocker. I think we're just gonna have to draw some guard, some guards here, and hope we hit some creatures. Creechy McMeechies. Oh, we did. We hit all the creatures and all the McMeechies. Is a plus two ability? Oh, for f of course it is. Of course it is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we can actually, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, if we could Hellkite and Critter at the same turn, we oh, could almost be, kill them. That would be insane. Oh, well, what if they leave this guy alive? That would be gas, right? Oh, they just got a Garrick, Relentless, an Arbor Elf, and a Huntmaster. So they just drew three, and that was pretty cool. Shoot our blocker. Oh my god. I'm vomiting in my mouth right now. And in real life as well, and everywhere. I'm vomiting everywhere. Don't zoom in on me. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Uh, yeah, you were. Thought you were always prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're in good shape here. Are we? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Face and Domri and face and that's the end. What can we draw? Nothing. Nothing is what we can draw. Oh boy. It's a good game. I almost feel like Star and Immortal Sun, we just take out the Planeswalkers in our deck, which is only like two, Domri and Hunt and Xenagos. And we just bring in Immortal Sun and Star. Okay. Well, yeah, but Nissa, we can just not flip Nissa at that point. All right, well, see what happens. Michael lives in a garbage can. Sometimes we'll let him in the house because he gets cold outside. God, any well, one, you for that. Any one land in this hand is great. Because then we can go Tribe Elder into Kadama's Reach. What do you think? We want to risk it for the biscuit? Yeah, sure, why not? Michael said yes. That means we're going to get screwed, and it's going to suck. But it's okay, because... We're going to win this match anyway. Wow, that's negative, man. Yeah, blame me. 
You made the decision, Michael. Take responsibility for your actions. <laughs> Never. Can we get some respect in the in the chat for Mike B? Some pay some respect. Hit the F button for our match. F to pay respects to our match. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, it's weird. Well, we lost the match, Michael. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> you did real good, Michael. Yeah, because if you would have kept it, it would have been fine, right? Uh, I think that's obvious. A dedoy. A dedoy is right, Michael. <laughs> One dedoy. We're still playing this match? Yeah, we're not dead. Hmm. Have you ever tried having a positive outlook in your life? For this match? No. For life and anything. Anything you've ever done. Yeah, sure. Like what? Name the thing. Like, uh... You, know you got me. Okay. Hey, man, why'd you give up? Because it's like turn five and we still... There's no land there. Oh, look, a, a land. Two turns after their hunt master flips. Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, wait. Unless it's like that, then you should. We didn't give up. We lost. There's a difference. No, we gave up. Because we lost. We lost because we gave up. I don't think so. Mike, should we keep this one land hand? This one's better. It has two two drops in it. This is a lot better, actually, though. I thought you were a, a man of danger. I thought you were stupid. <laughs> I was right. I was right. Look, we did it, Michael. Did you see us do it, Michael? We've hit all the lands. Yeah, we, we, hit, we hit three lands. Oh, we like Rhythm into Vanifar. I like that a lot, actually. Wow, that's pretty good. That's annoying. You're annoying. Got him. Did you get... Your mom? Your mother? Did you get her? No, she's elusive. To she's, say she's not even here right now. She's so. a real trickster. She's a wily trickster, Michael. A wily trickster, eh? You heard me. Don't even pretend like you didn't hear me. I was playing like Mar Mardu Mono White. Mardu Mono White. Uh, let's give haste. Sack this dude. Uh. I guess we got a Legion War Boss. Uh, might as well put a plus one plus one counter on him. No, let's haste him up, and then we'll make another dude. And then both of these dudes are going to be attacking, and this dude's going to get bigger. And then if you want to trade with Anafenza, that is totally fine. They don't. Okay. Looking, looking good. Looking good, boys. Next time we can go Phoenix. Sack, sack the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's cool. That was real cool that you did that. I appreciate you as an opponent. JJXXBBXXJJ. If that is your real name. <laughs> well, joke's Not on bad. you, my dude. So, what do we got here? play the land one two three four five six mana this cost three we could play pod and kodama's reach but 
I think I just want to come up, come up with Hellkite so I can start activating it next turn and start shooting down all their... Well, we're not going to use that. Oh, I can't... I can't undo that. That's cool. That's okay. I didn't want to really... Yeah, I just wanted to take that point of damage for no reason. That's a cool thing to not be able to undo on Magic Online. <laughs> it's pretty mind-boggling there, but all right. I thought you could undo stuff like that. Yeah. Nope, you can't. 1-1 uh, one, one counter. Let's just give it two 1-1 one, one counters. I ain't going to be attacking in here. Yeah, you couldn't do it when it's a cost, but since an ability, since an activated ability, since a triggered ability went on the stack in between, uh, you can't actually undo it. Because once the triggered ability actually got on the stack, it was too late. So, neg one, neg one. Fatal push? Okay, nothing. Slayer. Protection from dragons. But not from my dad. You're right, not from your dad. That's right, Michael. Do you have your dad in this deck? No, I didn't put my dad in the deck. Mm, that's too bad. Oh, that's another dragon. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Man, Bane Slayer, John. Oof. That's what's a spicy is. meatball. Do we have any six drops? Oh, we have Niv Mizzet. That's another dragon. Yep, take it. Oh, we get the choose. Ch -ch -ch choose you know what to choose how big is the chicken now it is a 5-4 chicken so it still doesn't get the job done it sucks that we have to attack into it it really does it's the really five frustrating for them. Yep, yep there's really no way to deal with it it's really unfortunate I mean we could have kept up Skargan and Hellkite shut the blocker So we have eight mana. We can play Woodfall Primus or Crater Hoof if we draw either of them. Crater Hoof would be pretty fantastic draw here. Yeah, I'd probably win the game. It was a Hinterland Harbor. Close. A Hinterland Harbor. Hinterland Harbor. Oh. One, two, three, four. A, a breathing pod. I'm probably going to take two here and just so I can keep up this ability. Legion War Boss isn't doing us any favors? No, I'm going to sacrifice Rekindling Phoenix because oh. I want to get a five drop or a six drop. I want to get the Mold Drifter because we don't have anybody to kill. Actually, Thunder My Hulkite. Does Thunder My Hulkite just win us the game? Well, only taps flyers, right? Yes. Which is four of their guys, so they have one blocker. Then we attack for like 11 million. Let's get rid of the chicken. So they would actually have one blocker and we can shoot the one blocker? Uh, he already has, already haste, has haste, haste, so yeah, we'll 1-1 one, one counter it. I mean, this is 12 in the air by itself. Whoa! Baneslayer, my dudes! That was pretty good. Hmm.
didn't think we were going to win that one. Well, that's what you get for being negative, Michael. I guess so. I think Pyroclasm. They have a lot of nerds. A lot of dirtily nerdlies. The only thing we really care about is the Ain't Bane Slayer, though, right? Well, not if they got like a Bitter Blossom full of. They had Bitter Blossom, they had Anafenza, they had Selfless Spirit, which is probably going to. Yeah, whatever. Star of Extinction actually does deal with Bane Slayer. God, I wish we just had better answers for Bane Slayer. That would be ideal. It's pretty embarrassing for Baneslayer to lose to, like, two dragons. I agree with you. I agree with you. What do you think, man? Star? Mm, yeah. The problem is, like, we just don't have a better answer for Baneslayer. Play Star cut, like... Probably Xenagos. Sure. Michael B. That's me. <laughs> it sure is, Michael. Oh, this is a turn three Vanifar. Or a turn three Domri into a turn four Vanifar activate. Look at that little nerd. I am looking at that little nerd. Look with your little nerd. I guess we get a, do we get a second green or a second red. Probably a second red. That was a good draw. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Probably don't want to play Dom right now just because it's unprotected, which is unfortunate. Oh, look at your little Anaflenza. If they attack with student, I think I'm just blocking. Yeah. I'm just going to trade. Yeah, let's just trade. That, that's so much value for us. 100% trade. Yeah, that's a weird attack. I'm game. <laughs> oh. Interesting. The plot thickens now. I think it's still probably Waddle Blossoms here. Really? If we, we So we can play Pod. We're going to take two. We have 17. We play Pod. Next turn we can play Wall and activate Pod into Nyssa. It's actually not too bad. Seems like getting the train going is just where we want to be. Oh, dang it. Ride that Pod train, my dude. Ride it, ride it. Come on, ride it, ride it, pod train. You know what I mean? I, I, no, I have no idea. I think you might have actually lost your mind. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, the name pod? Joke's on you. I mean, I assume they're going to. <laughs> that would be the smart choice. Yeah, now we just took two damage for nothing. It was painful. Bloodbraid Elf is just all upside, though, right? Come on, Pyroclasm. I don't think we have Pyroclasm. We brought in Star. We didn't bring in Pyroclasm? No, dude. Could have swore we did. No, dude. It's right here. Oh, well, we should have. I told you, and you said that we don't care about their nerds. We just care about their Baneslayer Angel. I literally wanted to, and you literally talked me out of it by saying, we don't care about their small creatures. This is why you shouldn't listen to me. I agree with you, but I try to encourage you. By listening to you. Oh, we should have actually played that on You just got to treat me like grandma, you know? You're like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just don't do it. That's really good, grandma. That's great. My hubris. Be like, that's really good. Good job, Michael. You did real good today. Oh, good. They're going to. Is that how you treat your grandma? I rub her face all the time, yeah. That's weird, Because it, well, it, it increases her feeling of usefulness. She really feels like she actually contributed. Oh, you got a 4-3 and a 3-2 and a 2-2. This really got out of hand here. Hmm. 
well. <laughs> we can get a glory bringer. Can we? Yes, we could play Vanifar. No, we can't activate this. Never mind. Right. Yeah. Biscuits. Biscuits, oh toots. I can just play Vanifar too, and we have two blockers, and we just have to hope they don't have answers. Perhaps. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. What happened to our Bloodbird Elf? Did we have one of those? Yes, and then they literally cast Fairgrounds Warden, which is the card on the board. Oh, okay. that has the Bloodbird Elf underneath it. an alpha whoa this is aggressive yeah, I mean we are at six so we take three here which means we can activate pod here so like lightning bolt you idiot I'll be like oh no you did lightning bolt me I am an idiot Yeah, they're really mean. I know. It's really making me sad. Oh, that was a pretty solid draw. One, two, three, four, five. Play Glorybringer. Attack this. Get the Bloodbraid Elf back. Are we alive? I think you go get a Mold Drifter or something. Hmm. I also like getting Nissa, getting Metamorph, stealing this. So another thing we can do is we can play Nissa without flipping. Um, or we can play Domri, plus to give Nissa. That eh, doesn't do anything though, because we're just gonna get rid of her. Definitely not playing Domri. That'd be terrible. We'd probably die. No, we play Domri and he gives us mana to play Nissa. So right. we play Domri and then play Nissa. Then we sacrifice Nissa to get a metamorph. We metamorph this, copy it. We steal the copy. We get our Bloodbraid Elf back. We sacrifice Bloodbraid Elf to Prime Speaker. We get. What? Like Muldrifter? Or we can get Flame Tongue copy. Or Huntmaster of the Fells. Ooh, I like Huntmaster of the Fells. You can't do that. Chain has to go up, right? Yeah, we have a Nissa, right? We're gonna be getting. Oh, I thought you were talking about sacrificing blood braid. Never mind. So what we can do is go. Oh wait, we have to get rid of this though, don't we? Yeah. So we can get Nissa. We can sack it to Flame Tongue Kavu. Okay, so if we play Nissa. We sack it, right? Okay, we get a Flame Tongue Kavu. We kill this. We then activate Bloodbraid Elf, or we activate Birthing Pod to get rid of the Flame Tongue Kavu, and we get. I don't know if I like that. I want to be able to get rid of this guy too. We could actually sack the Vanifar at that point and just get a five drop. I still think I like Glorybringer into, like, kill this guy. Sack the Glorybringer, get a Niv-Mizzet, and then we have, like... Right, we still can activate Pot. I know, I'm trying to kill this with a Huntmaster of the Fells. Am 
The home SFL only kills on things when he flips. Not on the first half. Right. I'm not. No, I'm Flame Tongue Kavu, not Huntmaster. Oh, okay. You said Huntmaster. I did say Huntmaster because I'm just thinking of getting Huntmaster. Because it's just two bodies. We have no seven drops now. This is actually really tough. Ugh. I like just getting like Revoker or or I just like just being able to kill this guy. Because then it just gets our Bloodbraid Elf back, but And that just gives us another another dude. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna play this for now. I'm gonna get another land. So now we have four mana. We're definitely sacrificing you. Bloodbird Elf wouldn't cascade because we're not casting it. We don't want to flip this. Maybe we just want to flip this. If it's a land we put on the battlefield untapped, let's do that. And if it's not a land, we can probably cast it. This might this might mess up our whole plan. I think this is a yes. Okay, we're still alive. Man, that was super risky. It definitely was. It definitely was. It still isn't not risky. And I think we actually sack the Glorbringer for Niv Mizzet because it still puts two guys on the board. Also, it'll be untapped, yeah. It was nice. So we'd have two creatures either way, but Niv Mizzet in play is significantly better than a tapped Glorbringer and an untapped Vanifar, so. This is. I don't know what they could have here. Wrath of God? Fumigate? Magister Worth. Sure. <sighs> if the vote is tied, destroy all creatures other than Magister of Worth. Okay. If Condemnation gets more votes, or the vote is tied. I will also say, I will say Grace. <laughs> sure. I mean, we get two draws. That's not that's not a good one. Actually we have Domery draws too. Well that's okay. One, two, three, four. What do we reveal? We land. Okay. That's something. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well that's a thing, I guess. Doesn't have like pro anything? Alright, well. Let's play our land this turn as well. Okay. If we can survive, we might win. I think we're dead. Yep, of course they have. Why wouldn't they? We have to work our ass off just to win that game, and they just hold on to Path to Exile or Top Deck it. Seems good. Alright. Yep, definitely bringing in Pyroclasm this time. And so, Wolf of All Primus doing anything in this matchup for us? I mean, it kills bitter blossom. Yeah, I mean, it's. I feel like it's always good, right? Like, whatever. We can take it out. It's fine. It's only like a million mana. Explore also kind of sucks. I'd rather have Sword of Feast and Famine. I think. I will 
we'll play first. We'll keep this hand. Lots of Bernie things here. Any red source and we're good. Is it a red source? No, it's a red card. Basically the same thing. Oh, still a red card again. Seems good. So we have nine red sources, nine, 20, nine, so basically a one in three chance to hit a red source. I accept. You did, good, you did good, kid. You did good, kid. So they can pump this guy one time next turn. If they hit a white, they can pump it twice. I don't know if I want to pirate class it just then. to kill. Right, no. but I'm just worried about like it oh, getting out of it. Oh, now we're now we're getting the value train. I just hope we don't miss a land drop, that's all. We didn't. All right. What's happening right now? Yeah, I'm definitely power cleansing here. Seems good. Yeah, I definitely, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't board in Pyroclasm to trade with one student of warfare. So we have an O4 on the board that blocks it for a while. Right. Especially when they, they had this guy. Oh man, that would have been a beating. If we waited a turn to try to be greedy. Yeah. I kind of like Hellkite here because it seems pretty insanely strong if we just put a counter on it and just start shooting down all their things. Uh, one on one counter. I like your, your eye accoutrement. Oh, of course. Of course. I never don't expect them to have that, but I'm also... Uh, well, if we draw a mana, we can star them. Well, then they just sacrifice oh, yeah, this and right. give all their guys indestructible, so that doesn't seem great. But we can play Huntmaster and hope to flip it at some point. Ooh, rhythm seems interesting here. I mean, they just always have it. It's pretty impressive. I don't think we have anything that can really Bloodbird Elf into. We don't have much removal. I think we just Hunt Master. And just hope it flips. Or we can always flip it on our own turn next turn. And just kill their... Yeah, that's... 2-1 guy. That feels like it's got to be the plan. Plus the 2 life is nice. The 2 life is nice. The life so nice you had to gain it twice. That's what I always say. Oof. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying because now I don't know how we do it. That's surprisingly annoying. Just draw Flame Tongue Kava this turn. So we could just pass and kill the 2-1. Nope, then they just give it pro whatever. Oh, right, because they'll have, they'll not, it won't be sick anymore. That's really annoying. Mm-hmm. But then... Yeah, no, this doesn't work. Yep. Dang it. It's really, yeah, it's really annoying. We have no removal we can hit with Bloodbird Elf now. We have a Kodama's Reach and an Explore that we took out. We can hit like a, a Nissa or a War, Legion War Boss. That's it. Yeah. Rhythm plus Metamorph Huntmaster and try to race. Yeah, that's not terrible actually. Especially when they have their own Bitter Blossom.
Uh, let's do Hunt Master. Counter or Riot? Let's go Haste. They have one card in hand, so. Sure. Oh, they blocked the Metamorph one? That's great. Because now this guy can still flip. The Metamorph one couldn't actually flip, so now we have the option to flip this guy at some point. What do you even name with that? Birthing pot, probably. I mean, the nice thing is we don't actually have uh, Vanifar, sure. Yep, the clock is pretty good. This is so stupid. Yeah, this combination of Mother Runes plus Self Spirit is really brutal. Yeah, with them using Mom doesn't matter because then they still have Selfless Spirit, so. Yikes, that's like the last one I wanted. I would have rather had uh, Legion War Boss, Nissa, Sakura Tribe Elder. That's literally the last card that I wanted. Has haste, give it a counter, give it a counter. I mean, we could always top that crater hoof here. Yeah, or next turn they could be greedy again and mother one of their guys and we can star. If they mother one of their guys and then we star, they can still sack this and save all their other guys. Oh, yeah. Like, selfless spirit being on board is why we can't do it. One, two, three, four. So you're just stacking us for six, huh? All right. Fascinating. Crater hoof one time. Oh, this guy flips? Oh, that's great. Yeah, let's kill this. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, that's pretty insane, actually. Can we just dig for it? Doesn't Domri dig for creatures? Yes, but also we can give it Riot and give this guy Haste. And I'm trying to figure out if that wins us the game. I don't think so, because this is the only guy with Trample, right? So they can go block here, block the Niv, block... So this guy's probably going to get him for three, putting them to one. So let's dig, I guess, and we'll try to find it. We found it. Hooray. Oh, we get two? That's a good deal. Sure. Yeah, that's going to be game. Oof! Pretty, pretty. Uh, I guess, I, pretty, I guess one one counter is fine. Pretty, pretty good. And they get trample. Because <laughs> why not? You didn't know it gave creatures trample? I never forget. I never remember what that thing does. 
Getting them to one does also kill them, actually. That's a good point, because of Bitter Blossom. Oh, well. Yeah, we could have played Nymph Mizzet with the, uh, with, the, with the Riot counter, so giving it haste. Uh, we would have had four creatures and a Nymph Mizzet, so they would have been able to block Ground Guy, Ground Guy, Ground Guy. Nymph Mizzet. Well, no, they have three blockers, so right? They would have blocked... They would have blocked Bloodbraid Elf. They would have probably blocked Ravager to go to one. And they would have blocked Niv Mizzet, but these two guys were already here, right? So they would have taken. Yeah. They would have been dead, I think. Yeah, I don't know. They might have just been dead all around. Do you want to change anything? Is there anything we're changing? You doing okay over there? I gotta go soon. Yeah, heaven forbid you're late to your mom, who's like five minutes away, right? It's about 15 minutes away. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. Five dollars to wear the eyes to dinner with you folks. Wow. I'm and just sure that'll go over well. Just act like there's nothing wrong. Act like okay, here we go. Yikes. Can you get one land? Put on a happy face. I'd keep that six. Mm. I mean, maybe it's possible. So, like, if we get a... It has to be a green source, too. If we get a green source in the top two, which we have ten of. All right, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a gamble. Do I just bottom this, though? I have to, right? I think so, yeah. I'll be your friendly neighborhood mull to sixer and keeping on the one land and uh, you'll be the mono red deck which we stand no chance against. Sounds good. If we lose this is on me. I don't know if that's true. Oh wait hold on. Hold on. We're doing it. Hold on. We're doing it. Steven we might have just done, we might have just done it. We're living the dream here. Don't you see? <laughs> don't I see what? I don't know, Michael. Use your eyes. It's not my job. I'm not your. I'm not your eye daddy. We're actually gonna get an island here because Nissa will get us a forest, and I want to maximize the chance of ever casting Niv Mizzet, otherwise known as Niv Moozle. Nope. That's what his dad calls him. Definitely not. Old Nivy McMoozles. Nope. Mersel Mc. Not even close. Nope. What does that thing do? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. If if it's spectacle cost is paid, you discard your hand and draw three cards. So it's basically like a uh, that that a wheel. that fancy gentleman. No, no, like the be bedlam reveler. Like the fancy gentleman. That's a fancy. Oh, the fancy gentleman. Yes, the oh. fancy gentleman. Maybe you could see if you had your eyes on you, stupid <laughs> dummy. Maybe you could, maybe you couldn't. But maybe. Devil's play for two? That's just rude, man. Please don't. Okay. Do do do. We're at thirteen life. That was a pretty good draw, my dude. I think I'm gonna just play this guy, right? I don't think I want to be racing this deck. I don't like these two forests right now because we have this Niv Moozle in the hand. 
And you know what they say, one Niv Muzzle in the hand is worth two in the bush. Nope. What do you mean no? Just no. That's literally what they say. No, nope, no, they don't. You don't know anything about Niv Muzzles. <laughs> or bushels, for that matter. <sighs> Fair trade. Done. You think I would trade with my Muldrifter for your Rick's Madai Rivalalalos? You're wrong. This is awkward because if we play this and we don't hit a land, we can't play anything else. Why don't you just play Thunder Maul? Because I don't like it. Fine. God, I hate you so much. I just don't feel like we're doing anything. We're not dying. Well, I guess that's true. Unless it's false, in which case then it's not true think about it the only bad spot of blocking here is if he has a stupid burn spell which he probably does because he hasn't shown us any yet ah oh, I see well fuck me I guess well that was a good game it was hard fought both sides played hard Yeah, we're dead. Oh, boy. Red deck is always a blast. There's something weird about this queue. It just feels off. Something just doesn't feel right. Like, there's, I feel like there's a lot of cards that just are so much different in power level than other cards. And I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm trying to... Th I, I, I feel like I've been thinking about it with every single draft we've done something just seems off like yeah but they want to test a lot of the new cards but I feel like then it like then they're not testing them we're testing them right like I feel like they're just sending an unbalanced cube out for like a month and a half and we're just like testing it. And I, I really don't, I haven't enjoyed this iteration of cube. And it's not because I'm like not doing particularly well. Uh, it's because I feel like it's harder to do particularly well because the strategies are not fully fleshed out. Like, I don't know it's if, I don't know if that makes sense if it's. It definitely seems like there's less fetch lands. Which is weird because I feel like they'd all be in here, right? I don't know if they are. Are they? Are all 10 fetch lands in here? I guess we could look into that, but... Yeah, I think we just resubmit. I don't think we have any really sideboard cards here. Well, I want to bring Power Clowns in because they have a lot yeah, of stupid sure. idiots. Probably could help with Fall Primus. That's a fine idea. And that should be good. Well, I also brought in uh, Scavenging Ears because it gains oh, sure, some life. Oh, sure, sure. Probably could Domri here. Yeah, I can see that. Nah, Domri seems fine. There's like one fetch land in the entire cube. No, I've also seen a wood. I seen a wind a windswept teeth as well. So there, Maybe I think there's the, two. They cut the newer ones and left the old ones. Why, why would you ever cut fetch lands at all? Like there's they're like the. It seems I I I haven't seen any of the newer ones. But that could just be random, I guess. No, I I've seen a misty. No, because the new ones are in there. I've seen misty. That's weird. Maybe it's just. You're right. Yeah, we did see Misty. Yeah, that's weird. So maybe they are all in there? I don't know. It's all very confusing. Look at this idiot. Come on, one land off the tip. Give me a Lumbering Falls. Xenagos. Seems good. Well, if we don't have a fourth land, it's, it's, ru it's, it's rough sailing. Yep, four drop, four drop, four drop, four drop. And now we stumble on lands against the red deck. God, I hate Explorer. Explorer is like just the worst card I've ever, ever played. <laughs> it's just terrible. Sure. 
Hey, look at that, we did it. Great, great for us. Just great for us. Ship and fire, sounds good. Yeah, I figured all 10 would be in the cube. I didn't think there was not going to be 10 in there, but no, oh, devil's play. Sounds good. Take five again. Well, I guess we're going to bloodbraid elf here. Oh, we don't have to take damage either. What a time to be alive. That's a good hit. It's actually a pretty nice walker. And I will not be attacking, just uh, just to be clear. Oh, God. I thought I was going to crash again because I... You move the line too much, crash. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you move the land too much and you crash. Well, just killing all my things. Also, if you guys want to sweet deal on some some phys some card rentals whether you're renting magic online cards or even physical paper cards definitely check out manatraders.com and uh, use the promo code and the link in my description you'll get 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription which is a sweet deal hmm what could this be just kill it we could just kill it and then play lumbering falls we're at six though so we're probably just dead Shaman. That's obnoxious, but. See, like, why is Irish Shaman in the cube? There's a lot of repeats in the cube that I don't understand. Like, Irish Shaman and Abbot of Carol Keep are just not high performers, but they keep putting both of them in the same cube, even though they f perform a lot of the same roles. Wow, if we can draw Pyroclasm here, it'd be utterly insane. And if we can't, it'll be very sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, we could Xenagos for two mana. We go to five, but we'd actually play three guys. Fudge, Fudge McMudge. Well, this is awkward. Three, four, five, one, two. So we could play this guy, and then we'd still take a point here. I don't like going to five. I'd rather just play Hellkite here, I think. I don't know how we win with Crater Hoof, so to be quite honest. This guy can't blow. They have no cards in hand, I guess. I guess that is one way to do it. Oh, no, we actually couldn't do this, right? We couldn't do both. We would play the Xenagos. No, we could. We could do it. You would have to take a point, though. Right, so we go to five, but we'd have two things on board. We'd have three three blockers, so we can go block here, block here, block here. They could pump this to a 2-2. Two, two. These would... This guy's definitely coming in, so they have... Yeah, I don't like going to five here. I don't know if it matters, but... It feels like it probably matters more than it doesn't matter. I uh, will give you a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, I think no matter what, we're going to three here. Oh, I think at the very least we're going to three. Roll inversion at, at rare is weird because it's like, isn't this just basically... What does that do? Uh, it's you just exchange control of two permanents that have the same type. Like, it's basically just switcheroo, but like with permanents, so it's kind of weird. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen. 
plus 12. So it's 26 damage. So they can block 7 of it. Like, oh, they drew a land. That's actually great. I think we can win next turn now. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Now we cannot. <sighs> Literally had to have Devil's Play in the graveyard. That's amazing to me. One, two, three, four, five. We go to actually can we can we block here instead and deal five to them? One, two, three, four, five. Well, we know we go to one and we die because we have to take a damage from City of Brass. Yep, that's pretty sad. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, the City of Brass ends up killing us. That's hilarious. Yep. Four, one, two. And we can't actually use. We can use Xenagos and then activate this ability to, like, shoot, like, two of these guys, I guess. We just can't do multiple things on our turn. One, two, three, four. Activate the land. They have one, two, three. Yeah, the City of Brass is literally like the, the death knell for us here. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, they have... I mean, like, they can still top deck nothing. So silly, too, because if we could play the Critter, they'd actually be dead. Would they? Yeah, they'd be dead. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, they'd be dead. It's like 16, I think. If it wasn't... If City of Brass was not... Or if we were at 2 instead of 1. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I think we're dead. And we have... It's funny because we have eight lands. But we need, like, four mana to do this, four mana to do this, four mana to activate this. So, like, everything we need costs four mana. So we need two iterations of four mana. And this is eight. So it's like everything is four, 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 two fours, a four, and a four. And we need two of these things to happen. We need a blocker and a shoot. So we can get rid of this guy and have three blockers. Um, or we need a crater. Like, there's just so many things. Like, it's just really stupid. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, Patreon, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, and meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And hopefully next time we'll do a little better. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a great afternoon.